All right, Dad, so in the previous video, we were at the planning and preparation stage. Uh, you've been busy for the last week and a half, two weeks, so what have we got here? Uh, this week I've been working out how to set the engine up uh, in the chassis, the engine and the differential. So I've re set it up here on the table uh, as, a, as a temporary measure, as a bit of a rough in to give you some idea. Um, the engine obviously is, is uh, here, that's facing forward, this is the rear of the the rear of the car and I've um, found the ideal spot for the for the um, variable speed clutch which is just on this side obviously and I've done a temporary sprocket on onto the diff so that'll be the layout of the engine driving the variable speed clutch driving the differential all right cool and you were saying that you've got a problem with uh, sprocket was that right yeah buying sprockets in australia is just an absolute nightmare um this style that i need anyway you can buy them just about every other country in the world except here um so yeah it just becomes a bit of a problem you have to import it from the states or from somewhere else and cost you a couple hundred bucks in freight which is just ludicrous but it's part of the fun all right, cool. And what did you say it was, a peerless diff? Yeah, it's a peerless diff with a generic uh, co Honda copy engine. It's not a genuine Honda engine, um, but it's a, it's a replica of, so that's the, the way I'm setting it up. All right, cool. And I believe you've been busy on the frame and a couple of other parts Yeah, I'll as well. show you. We'll wander out there and we'll, I'll show you what I've been up to on the frame and the uh, front end that I've been uh, setting up this week as well. All right, let's go have a look. So... What have you got up to with the frame? Well, I've got a rough in of the frame now. I've uh, cut it to length and shape and size. Uh, it's sitting in, in the jig that I've made for it. Uh, and I've temporarily welded, just tack welded it together so that I can uh, keep progressing bit by bit. Then when you completed a, a total part of the chassis or a total part of the, the uh, car, you can then finish it all off, weld it all up and make sure that it's all okay. I know a couple of people made some fun, funny comments about your uh, workstation that you've created for yourself for the frame. So you haven't died, you haven't no, hasn't fallen no, on you? No, I'm, I'm still kicking and it's perfect for me. You can see it's, this is set up here, fantastic for me. I'm, I'm not straining my back. I'm working at this height um, and it's, it's made a hell of a difference for me. Cool. It's very comfortable. So you said you grabbed a seat and sat inside it to sort of measure out? Yeah, yeah. So approximately where that is, that's just a brace. Um, the seating area and the leg area is in this part of the front of the part of the chassis and the engine and rear axle is uh, obviously behind there. All right. So it should be big enough for anyone up to about six foot six to sit in and operate the thing. Cool. And so during the week also, I've manufactured uh, the front axle. Uh, it's still not 100% finished, but uh, we're damn close now. So I'm obviously manufactured our front axle. And I've set it up in the same way that I set up my racing mower with adjustable camber caster um, on, the, on, the, uh, on the front kingpins. So... Basically, that front axle, as it sits there, will sit approximately there in front of the chassis. Yep. And being, it'll, it, it looks very similar to an old A model Ford. And I'll run a transverse spring across there as well, uh, which obviously is the suspension. Yep. So the spring will sit. The spring will sit. Down, yeah, in, down, down in there. Down that. Yep. Okay, cool. Alright, so we've got a bit of a display here of, of how the front axle is going to look. Um, I've manufactured this spring during the week as well, and which is the front transverse spring, and we're going to show you where it goes on this on the front axle. This is how the front axle will sit in the in the car and the transverse spring once I make all the brackets and everything is up with it will sit there like so. 
and then that'll mount into the, onto the front of the chassis of the cycle car. All right. That all makes sense? Yep, looks good. All right, so that's you've got the chassis tacked together. You got the front axle pretty much done. So what's the uh, the plan from here for the next little uh, phase? The, plan, the next phase is to totally finish the front axle, um, and then work out where it's going to sit height-wise into the chassis. And at the same time, I'll bring the engine and rear axle over and work out where that goes as well. That'll give me the correct angle of the the rake of the of the front of the chassis. Um, and yeah, so the next stage will be hopefully that mounted in and the rear axle temporarily mounted in. Okay, cool. All right, so um, I guess until the next video, we'll say goodbye to everyone. And um, I don't know if you want to say anything. We had a bunch of people that watched the first video on a stack of comments. So if you want to say anything to anyone in particular or just send me send me emails messages whatever you like uh, I'll, I'll answer them the best I can um, and uh, if you're interested once again uh, don't be shy cool awesome all right we'll see you guys in the next video okay